So I am not going to take credit for this, but um, someone was nice enough on Thingiverse to create this phone mount for my truck, as you can see. And I apologize, I'm using my cell phone to record this. And um, basically, you take off this little rubber pad on top of the dashboard, and there's two screws. You remove them, you mount this plate, and now you can put your phone there. Well, I printed it out. Here it is right here. And these mounting holes are too far apart. Now, supposedly this is for my year truck, but maybe there's some differences with different models. So I found this right here. This was for somebody else who has the C is for Cummins Diesel. So I printed that out. And what I found was the mounting holes from here to here were five and a half inches. And on these are 4.75. So that's three quarters of an inch, and I needed to split the difference on both sides. So what I did was, if we look at the original drawing in Fusion 3D, and uh, the user uh, tag Scott was great. He provided the files for everybody to use at no cost. So what I did, and let's see if I can't make this thing turn, is I brought these mounting pieces. Uh, I brought them in 3 eighths of an inch on each side, and that was three quarters total and not using having used uh, Fusion 3D before I was struggling a little bit um, I had to move things in separate pieces as, as I found like these extrusions now I said to myself gee you know it'd be great if I could use the camera on the dashboard as like a, a dash cam or something so I messed around with Fusion 3D a little bit and what I came up with with this was I measured the hole and behind the camera, which you can't see, obviously, because that's what I'm using to record this, but uh, as a bumper case. So mine has a bumper case, so I, I figured out the f closest and fur furthest dimensions for this. And I put a piece of tape here, and if I slid the phone all over the one side and all over to the other and top and bottom, I just gave it a generous um, opening right there, as you can see. Now, after I did that, one other thing I had to do, or well, I didn't have to do, I thought it would be nice to have a nice chamfer, chamfer in the front and back. Now, you don't really need it in the front, but when the phone's not there, maybe it would be nice to see that uh, chamfer there. But I also did it to the back. Um, it's probably, again, not needed, but, you know, if the camera uh, needs the space, and hopefully this is plenty of space, because, like I said, the, the camera, I gave it plenty of room around the lens to do it but it looks appealing on the dashboard. A couple other things I had to do was the Dodge was actually larger and it was protruding into this um, extrusion here, these extrusions. So I had to shrink this down to 90% and then I had to also shift it over to the right on one or two millimeters, I can't remember. So I started to print the first rev without the hole for the camera. That's a 10 hour job. I'm debating canceling it after an hour and a half because uh, I may or may not use this, but uh, I think it came out really nice. I mean, I guess I could put that extrusion here, I mean, the hole on this side to make it look symmetrical, but uh, like I said, I don't know if the angle's gonna be right, that time will tell. I might only get like a lot of dash pad in some street, but I figure, hey, you know, why not have the ability to, um, to do that? And Fusion 360 has given me a little bit of a hard time, but as you can see, the chamfer there, chamfer, chamfer, I'm not even saying that right, I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, quick update, and uh, I'll see you all later.